everyone. Welcome to another episode of our Meet the Team series. Um, today, I'm super excited because I have the Shiel, one of our bookkeepers from the Fiji team, who was also named the Institute of Certified New Zealand Bookkeepers Bookkeeping Employee of the Year at the awards night in July this year. Uh, and so, Hashil, thank you so much for joining me. Um, I'm excited to interview you and um, have everyone get to know you a little bit more. Hi, Irene. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. I'm um, yeah, super excited. Also a bit nervous, but yeah, super happy to be doing this. I promise I won't fight. <laughs> <laughs> um, so do you want to start off, Michelle, just by telling us a little bit about yourself? Sure. Uh, so yeah, uh, my name is, uh, I, can, I think uh, this is the rare equation where I can use my full name. It's Hashil Navnitram. I never use my middle name. So <laughs> I don't know why, but yeah, it never really stuck around. So I'm based in a little suburb, a very populated suburb, Nakasi, in like a little bit, uh, like 20 minutes away from the capital city. I like to call it Nakasi City because why not? Everything is there and like you can just have a good life there. So yeah, um, so that's that. I live with my parents. Um, I live my, with my parents. I have a niece and a few. I have two brothers and uh, a sister-in-law. And yeah, you can also call me like a perfect mix of uh, uh, introvert slash extrovert. I love going out. I love staying in. So it's just like, it just depends on the mood. So yeah, you can have me either ways. Awesome. Awesome. And fun fact about you, Hushio, um, you are well known within the Edwin Army team as being my spirit animal, um, aren't you? <laughs> Yeah, and I love every bit of it. <laughs> I think it's an honor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so for context for everybody, what we do in our Edwin Army um, team meetings that we have is we always have a random question um, that whoever is facilitating the meeting um, gives us. So we have a different facilitator each meeting. And um, nine times out of ten, Hashil and I will have the same answer for the question. Yeah. Um, and so it started to become a bit of an inside joke about who got to answer first. Um, and yeah. then... And so that we were stealing each other's answers. And um, yeah, now she was just known as my spirit animal in the Edwin Army team. Exactly. Like I remember having to write three or four answers for those uh, questions just in case one of it is get picked by you so that we have something original to say. But then one of those times is just like, why not? It's like, we have to say it. And yeah. It's the it's same. Everybody just, yeah. 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 And now, now we're just like, I'll answer on behalf of Hashil and myself. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> um, so okay. Hashil, how did you end up working for Edmund Army? Um, well, I really believe I manifested it. <laughs> I was like, ever since I found out that we get, get to work remotely at uh, Edmund Army, so I just really wanted to work here. I was just like, I knew. So at that time, I re little... I didn't have much knowledge about how awesome the team really is and so how what it is all about. It was just that I have I get to work from home, which I really absolutely love to do. And yeah, it was especially with the traffic and everything, I just worked. So I just uh, started applying to all the job advertisements that were coming out that were suitable for me. And I landed myself an interview and now I'm here. So yeah, that's uh, yeah. how I got about it. But it was just that uh, really pushed me was that then I later came to know about how awesome the team is, which is just awesome. But yeah, that was just, the fact that uh, I get to work from home really brought me in. Yeah. I mean, it's the, it's the main reason I still work here. So. <laughs> <laughs> I don't disagree with you. It's my favorite. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what does, a, what does a normal work day in the life of Pashil look like? Um, that's hard to say. I mean, I would say like none of my days are normal. I think that's like one of the things I really enjoy about here is just I don't have a consistent day. I don't have a day where I can just easily plan ahead for my day. Like, yes, there are things that uh, we do have to do and it like gets planned, but, but there are things like how, how most part of the day, it's just random things that coming are coming my way and that I look into and which I absolutely love. It just keeps me on my toes. It helps me to think uh, like... Uh, on the spot sometimes I think uh, be a little more a little more proactive than reactive to a lot of things so yeah just uh, uh, that's my day like I, have to, I can do to bookkeeping I jump into emails and like whatnot whatever the client wants just to have that uh, kind of relationship and have that kind of trust with them and just to be like hey can you do this and I'd be like more than happy to so it's just that I don't uh, normally have like a consistent day where I can just plan out my day and say okay uh, this is what I'm doing for this day it's never that it never works out I think so yeah it's just like whatever comes I just start working on that and it's a bit of like a very exciting thing for me over here being part of this I think I've reached that point where it's just every day is a new day and just like super exciting yeah 
yeah, yeah. absolutely is yeah you can plan your day if you want but it won't be how your day plans out yeah, yeah exactly and that is more like more disappointing so now just stop planning like we already have like uh, awesome uh, applications like uh, asana that we have our day that plan our day and so like apart from that there's a lot of things that like keep you know bouncing in and out and stuff it's awesome yeah i love it yeah yeah awesome um so hashil you are our inaugural squad leader um so yeah. so you got you we tried out the um the, the theory of squad, squads with you and your your first squad um so do you want to tell me a little bit about your squad um and tell me about the people in your squad but i'm also be real keen to hear like how your squad works together um I, like so our squad uh, is uh, called the powerhouse soldiers that started that and yeah so we try and live up to the name like a bunch of powerhouses working together and uh, so i uh, will i'll introduce the team members uh, so we currently we have uh, ria based in team india so she is a sudoku lover she loves to keep her mind sharp and just like love maths which is i guess in our finance thing maths is and very i guess important i would want to say i'm not really good at maths so yeah uh, lucky <laughs> I, for people i use my cal- calculators i use my calculator yeah. for everything for sure <laughs> yeah even 15 plus 10 i would be like okay what's that yeah so yeah that, that's uh, like uh, about ria we have uh, pritika she is a little firecracker she loves to gossip but then she forgets like come on <laughs> wow. so i think which is also a good thing and uh, we also have prishneel who we recently found out that is a potterhead and so he nice. has a secret yeah, he has a secret crush on hagrid i mean hermione sorry prishneel so <laughs> yeah that's prishneel also shout out to the inaugural members uh, mitali she like uh, she was uh, for the most existence of this squad she was a part of it so mitali she loves uh, like she something really weird about her is that she doesn't like green capsicums like i was like wait why do you like but is she and she's like all other colors taste fine i mean like they all taste the same but i guess not uh, like everyone has their own preferences and we have our dipika uh, who is like uh, a queen of uh, social media she is the she is literally here with like uh, torches and stuff she said that i'll give light and help you dress up for this interview so yeah she's she's a queen and she she's awesome yeah, yeah. and a special shout out to sam who has just been driving this uh, squad with me so yeah so i guess in terms of like squads we have a, a, a group of uh, members a team like working for adminami we actually collaborate it's a collaborative initiative where we work together we where we have a, a somewhat of a space within ourselves where if we have any sort of help or anything to trouble should we try and work it amongst ourselves we try to have a, in that kind of perspective where we get to address each other's issues address each other's uh, queries that we have or anything that is client related where we get to add value to it before it reaches uh, to i would say the senior team of course they are always there we always like it, uh, it there's like a bit of a channel that has now put in place instead of us like uh, because uh, let's face it like uh, coming to you or haley like first of all like you guys are always there for us and i really appreciate that but kind of i sometimes feel bad like i i'm sure they have better things to do than to answer my queries all that but we i don't. know it is we like, don't <laughs> so yeah but uh, it's just that trying to address ourselves uh, just to have that before we come so we try and like there's like four brains or five brains put in, into one and just try to address it yes if we can't then we come out but sometimes there most of the time we do have, are able to help each other do able to address things and so it just helps us all to grow to learn and just to bounce ideas and just get knowledge from each other which is awesome yeah yeah I love working with them one- i love working with the team One thing I really love about it too is that it means that for clients that you're the assigned bookkeeper for, they don't just get the benefit of the shield, they get the benefit of the whole mm-hmm. squad and beyond that all of the admin army team. Definitely, yeah. Definitely. That <laughs> yeah. Cool. So Hashiel, what is it that you like about being part of the admin army team? Oh my um so I just like Uh, how long is this video how long can i speak because like there's so many you things and so as long as you want to <laughs> i mean like first of all i think this is something that really makes me happy is the team that we work with i think it's just best based with the best 
amongst the world like so the best bookkeepers the best and not just like professionals but just people in general like they're super fun super awesome people who love to help out who are always there for you so that team i think is just the best i would like say in any organization like a, like a, you can bleep this out if you want but i don't think we should this is just like the team we'll is keep super it in. awesome we'll keep it in we'll, we'll put it in stars we'll put it in stars yeah. so everybody knows so we're the best yeah <laughs> definitely like i can like put it down to said put it in stone like admin army has the best team i love that one thing that i really love is that and apart from that again like i said like we i get to work from home so i think just saving that time the learning culture that we have here like people are really open and that space that i think everyone is in a very safe space where we can reach out to anyone like uh, our to our managers to our colleagues anyone we can reach out at any point in time and just be like hey i need help and just uh, even if it's like something personal we are going through if it's professional like everyone is there for each other and we just help build each other the learning culture the learning never stops we appreciate like if anything that we can put into anyone's like wisdom or anything just uh, pass any knowledge in it's always then it's never kept within a box so i just love that and just yeah and, and there are again so many things so yeah yeah oh definitely i could go on forever um, mm-hmm. myself so so Hashil, before before we get carried away on on our admin army love fest um so million dollar question it's it's the, i'm i'm convinced now that this is the sole reason anybody watches these videos uh to find out the answer <laughs> to this question. um so if you were stranded on a desert island what three things would you take with you uh so if i was stranded on a desert island i mean i think first of all i would go for food like i have a huge passion for food so like i try to bring as much as i can there and just eat gill free but then i have to be like really careful like get canned products that don't go bad within two days or something like that so i can just uh, you know sustain myself i really i don't know if it counts as one but i really would love it if all the admin army team is there with us so from <laughs> india oh, this one pg <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh I, lauren is based in australia so get uh, australia so like all those from everyone from all those parts of the world just bring it into one and i think we'll just have a super so and we'll even forget that it's a desert island with the very limited resources we'll probably just laugh sing eat and then just die there so why not <laughs> <laughs> like it'll be super awesome time there <laughs> oh, yeah. so it's we'll, like i would love it if everyone gets to just we like love to see everyone and so yeah being part of that and again i guess i'll i don't leave any place with my mobile phone so i'll just keep there it with me hopefully we are able to get some help out there so we don't have to die then just we'll just have someone to rescue maybe a life mode or something like we'll get ronit he has a lot of contacts so like ronit who yeah. i mean is our team leader he knows everyone and anyone in this country so he'll probably be able to find someone for us to help us save us while admin army has a blast there so, yeah. yeah well i mean that's why you take ronit with you <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure about the singing part she I should probably not participate in that part. but other than that I'm in. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh we, I mean we all, we are all like uh, singers at heart. I mean not by vocals maybe not by vocal there but it's hard we are all singers so yeah. Yeah. Definitely. We we'll, we'll make sure we play that team shame song playlist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. All right. Well, thank you so much, Hashil. It's been so lovely chatting with you and um, sharing a little bit about yourself with uh, all our viewers out there. So, um, thank yeah. You. Thank you so um, much, Irene. Yeah, it's yeah, great now, chatting now with got, you. Yeah. yeah. Now you've got it out of the way, so you've you've cracked yeah. life. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. It's really fun doing this. Thank you so much. All right. I'll catch you later, Hashil. Bye. Bye.